Radical. Welcome to part three of Radical Rabbit Fire. Comment response for December 20th through December 21st, 2021. Short comments, quick replies. Arioka. Rick, don't forget that after the MGR Basement League scam video, Hancock made a fake roof, a roof as he says it, leak video when Woodhawker actually made a video showing his game room flooding. All of these YouTubers probably have insurance and increased donations from their viewers after the scam. Yeah, I don't remember the Woodhawker flood video that much. But the weird thing is, in comparison to the Hancock and the Metal Jesus uh, uploads, there was actually a lot of water. There was a lot of water in that house, but wasn't it that that wasn't his house or he was leaving that house or something like that? There was something interesting about that going on. I remember just like the overacting, the hilarious overacting and, you know, how his hair was wet. His hair was soaking wet, meaning that he wet his hair for the acting in that upload. Uh, the Hancock one is probably out of the three, the less, the least shameful, I would say, out of the three. By far the least shameful out of the three if I had to, you know, rank them and everything. Floppa Apocalypse. The 2016 movie is so bad it was made non-canon as of Afterlife's release, putting the trash in its place. Yeah, made non-canon. And the fact that they didn't include it, or now it's included as a you know digital download, it says a lot. And that's just... I think it's mostly them wanting to sell copies of it and people saying that they just wouldn't even buy it if it had a physical copy of the disc in there. Mr. Lone Wolf, Call of Duty, Infinite Warfare. Our trailer has so many dislikes. Ghostbusters 2016. Hold my proton pack, sweetie. Yeah, I'd say Ghostbusters uh, definitely has a lot more dislikes than Infinite Warfare, the trailer. You know, weird thing about those Call of Duty titles. I think they kind of jumped the shark a little bit, wouldn't you say, with the Infinite Warfare? You know, you had modern, then you had advanced, and then infinite, right? I think that's a slip up from the guy in the one room that chooses all these titles. They go in there, they knock on the door. Hey, hey, why Sage? Why Sage? What will be the title of this year's Call of Duty? Black Ops 17. In the future, that's what it's going to be, Black Ops 17. Oh, yeah, they'll keep milking that. You think four was the last one of those? Sam Cortez. Well, to be fair, to be fair, Ghostbusters 2016 did come in the double pack with Terminator Dark Fate at Walmart. Oh, look, a squirrel. Was there really a double pack of that? Ah, yikes. Two bad movies. You know why Terminator Dark Fate was bad? Not nearly as bad as Ghostbusters or a couple others. I mean, I watched it had some okay fight scenes and i mean i just generally like arnold schwarzenegger and like almost anything but uh this was really weird the setup and there's a lot of things about it that just kind of like took away it took away a lot of what was great about some of the other terminator movies and i didn't understand arnold schwarzenegger having a family like he could have a family but you know a terminator Having family, I, I just didn't, I didn't get that. I mean, he, he didn't make a family because Terminators don't have dongers. Terminators don't have dongers. It was just kind of, kind of odd, that movie. Sinister Moon, cool cat. The bear, I'd say, is worth two ninety nine dollars plus tax. Well, I was asking, uh, you know, what probably would be, you know, what would you all charge for some of these items at the flea market? And could you imagine, Sinister Moon, if I was like that that one guy at the flea market charging tax? Someone goes to pay, you know, three bucks. I mean, you could you imagine even charging two ninety nine? Like, yeah, two ninety nine. Like, what well, I don't have ninety nine pennies or whatever. But then you know, after they handed you your three bucks, you'd be like, whoa, 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 where are you going? Okay, it's gonna be it's gonna be well, somewhere since whatever. And they're like, what? Like, yeah, yeah, here's the going tax right here, and I'm going to need that tax before you walk off with that bear. You know? Word would spread around, like, there's a guy at a table. That guy over there, he's charging tax. <laughs> Sean A. I used to enjoy his channel when I was younger, but looking back at it now, yeah, he was an e-beggar before e-beggars were a thing. Also, I couldn't stand the guy from the secondary channel. Ah, Mark from Classic Game Room. Today, 
I'm going to be e-begging years before other people think about doing it. I'm going to be an innovator. Dang, that's getting good. That's getting better. You know, I could do a whole skit, you know. It's radical rapid fire. I really can't, though. Uh, yeah, the, the guy from the secondary channel, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, wait, wait, I do. I think I recall that. Uh, I wonder if that's the case with like a lot of channels where they have the secondary person or the stand-in person. Usually the stand-in people are pretty terrible. You know, these sports analyst shows, they have the stand-in people that come in sometimes whenever like the the big dogs are out. Sometimes they're better. Sometimes they are. But a lot of time you're like, man, they just pull that guy off the street or whatever. You know, some maybe sometimes it's actually just editors and they're like, hey, uh, I need you to like do the whole video, like even the voiceover. And they're like, I've already done like 90% of the editing. You want me to talk to on it? Ninja Master. CGR hasn't produced anything in over a year, and it's been those dull, dry comics he was drawing or something. My guess is he took those donations and sold them off and pocketed the money. Yeah, you sad, sad people that donated to him years ago. All those games you sent to him because you're thinking like, hey, it's going to be part of his collection. He's going to treasure him. No, no, no. That's very highly likely. And maybe it's one of the reasons he just kind of got out of, uh, you know, doing the game stuff. Maybe he sold off all the game stuff, which is, you know, no problem whatsoever. But I'd feel a little icky selling off things that, you know, was sent to me in a P.O. box. I think I would probably try to track down these people and, oh, I don't know, send it back to them and say, thank you, but, you know, here you go. You can get money out of it because I'm done playing the games. Art Bell. Wise to avoid the 2016 version of Ghostbusters, the risk is that it wrecks memories of the series. A podcast called Totally Awesome, a guy played Star Wars movies, the first three, every weekend for 10 years, then the 2006 version came out. He stopped doing the Star Wars weekends. Ouch. Over 10 years, you say? Yeah. Um, yeah, sometimes something new can come out. And it could, you say, wreck the memories of the series? I don't know about wreck the memories of the series, but maybe like stain the series for you. Kind of maybe ruin a series for you. How maybe a a bad season of a show can kind of ruin the memories that you had early on where you just like, you think about that last bit. Uh, for me, it was like The Walking Dead around like season seven, season eight. The poor choices they made kind of kind of ruined the series for me in a way. Same thing can happen with games too, where you play like a new installment of a game and it just kind of, yeah. But uh, you're talking about Star Wars. So yeah, like the first three, they go together, New Hope, uh, Jet Return of the Jedi, and Empire Strikes Back. You know, I know I don't have those in order. That's going to trigger a lot of the Star Wars fans. But going from that to the Phantom Menace, and then the second movie, The Clone Wars, The Revenge of the Sith was okay. But uh, yeah, these new three Star Wars movies, it's just like diminishing returns. And could you imagine going through and playing like the new Star Wars movies along with the old ones, you know? So we have like a series of nine movies and only half of them are really, really any good. <laughs>